feel like I'm giving y'all like an 80s vibe, but I'm lucky here for it. <laughs> Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be my current favorite fragrances. That is a tongue tie, holy moly. <laughs> and also my spray routine. Shout out to my girl Takara, AKA Takara Thompson here on YouTube for creating this tag, which is your spray routine or whatnot. I am so excited to show you guys my spray routine, which will be at the end of the video. So you guys can see my favorites first and then see my spray routine. So if you guys are interested in seeing my spray routine and these fragrances that I have been loving recently, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your scent of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jane. welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. And if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. What are you waiting for? We want you to be here. <laughs> And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi. <laughs> and let's jump right into the first fragrance. So the first fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about is one that I'm actually going to show you guys my routine with. But I really, really like this scent. And this is BDK's Passessoir, y'all. Oh my goodness. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful. This is a sweet white floral fragrance with some fruitiness and some woodiness. It also kind of has like this spicy touch as well, which I really, really like. And I kind of get a little bit of like a citrusy vibe. So for me, what I get the most out of this fragrance is primarily the quince. Like quince is like the star of the show, which is a type of fruit. If you own R.E.M. by Ariana Grande, that has a quince note as well. And it's beautiful. It's like a unique fruity fragrance and I love it. This scent to me is very sophisticated. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. So you get that sweetness if you like sweet fragrances, but it's more of like a fruity sweetness and not like a candied sweetness. You also get some jasmine in this fragrance. And in the base, you get some cashmere and some amber wood and some patchouli. And y'all know, if y'all know me, if y'all know, I love patchouli. But cashmere and also gives this a smooth element, which I find very sexy and sensual. And it also gives it a little bit of depth. Same thing with that patchouli. The patchouli kind of gives it this sexiness because patchouli can come off earthy, which I really, really like that type of patchouli. It just smells really sexy and sensual on my skin, which I love. But yeah, this fragrance is absolutely stunning. I love the story behind this fragrance. If you haven't heard about it, I'll just leave the little snippet down below. It is a very dope story and I really like BDK for their stories behind their fragrances. I don't really enjoy all their fragrances, but this is one that I really like. Now, the only con I have about this fragrance is the performance. This baby does not project whatsoever. It does have nice lasting power, but the projection is not there. I actually have to spray this thing like crazy to actually get this baby to perform and it does perform better on my clothes than my skin however i am a fan of the way that this fragrance smells and i'm also the type of person that if the fragrance smells good i can justify the price i can justify the performance if it smells great on me so this is one that i can justify it for some people don't like it because it doesn't perform well but for me in my opinion i enjoy it and as you guys can tell i have a pretty pretty dent in this baby and i also enjoy tuberous imperial that's one i also have a dent in but that's because i just use it a lot i didn't include that in this video just because i used that more maybe two months ago and this is the fragrance i've been picking up a lot more lately because it suits more for the spring summertime so yeah that's why i picked this up a little bit more and i'm mentioning this one and not that one but i really do like that scent a lot so this so this is Passessoir by BDK. All right, y'all, so this next fragrance is one that I talk about so much and I'm almost out and I really need to just buy another bottle because I'm gonna be sad when I run out of this. And this is Born in Roma by Valentino. Y'all, I talk about this so much, so I'm just gonna kind of breeze through this because I've mentioned this so many times. This fragrance is just a beautiful, woody, vanilla, slightly fruity fragrance. It has like black currant, it has some jasmine. This also has some cashmere and some guyac wood, and this also has bourbon vanilla. This fragrance is 
the perfect fragrance you can layer this fragrance you can wear it on its own it performs well it smells amazing it smells sexy it smells sensual but it's also bright enough with that black current that you can wear it in the daytime in the summertime in the springtime and still smell amazing i get so many compliments when i wear this fragrance this is one that your boo will definitely like for sure like hands down I can guarantee it this is just a beautiful scent and I don't have that much left because I use the crap out of it it's definitely a favorite I've been loving it ever since I bought it in like December or November I don't remember when I bought it but yes I've been loving this fragrance and this is actually probably the first fragrance I'm gonna be completely out of within you know this last quarter or whatnot so yeah i absolutely love this scent so so much i cannot wait to get the bigger bottle i might have to get another backup because i want to use this fragrance liberally okay this is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning if you have not tried born aroma by valentino please get your hands on it because this is definitely in my top five designer scents and definitely in my top 10 fragrances period okay period <laughs> this is born aroma by valentino this next fragrance is one that pika the beautiful pika talked about i'm gonna leave her channel link down below because she be having some bangers y'all like i hadn't heard of this fragrance at all until she talked about it and she kept talking about it and kept talking about it and i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy a bottle never smelled this fragrance i blind bought it and i have no regrets this is champaka absolute by tom ford this is a beautiful floral fragrance with some sweetness and a little bit of woodiness. I really like this scent. It's so unique. I've never smelled a fragrance quite like this. And it makes me feel so sexy, but in the most beautiful, like bright, elegant way. This is a very elegant yet spring appropriate fragrance, summer appropriate fragrance. This isn't a fragrance that I would say everyone would like, but this is one that is very unique you will not smell like everyone else which is very nice i don't mind smelling like other people but some people want to be completely unique and still smell good and that's this scent right here this has a cognac note this also has a note of champaka which is the floral note that's like centered around this fragrance of course this has some orchid some jasmine some violet has a little bit of powder in it from that violet as well and this has some vanilla sandalwood and amber in the base i definitely hands down would say that this is a beautiful fragrance thank you pika for shouting this baby out for putting it on a map because i am obsessed with it like literally obsessed now the only con just like with the bdk i don't know tom ford maybe like the ooze and stuff last longer but this one doesn't really perform that well like it doesn't perform well this definitely becomes more of a skin scent but with that sandalwood, that amber, that vanilla, it makes it more of like an inviting sensual scent. But it still has that brightness from that champaka flower. So I really like this scent overall. I think that it's definitely a sensual scent. But it's still bright and it's still happy and it's still spring-like and summer-like. Which I really, really like in this fragrance. So this is Champaka Absolute by Tom Ford. And if you haven't tried this and you want to smell unique... Go ahead and try this out and it doesn't stink it's just very unique it's beautiful though it's absolutely stunning this next fragrance is no stranger to my channel i talk about this baby a lot and i've been using her a lot and this is la via belle intensement intensement i'm trying y'all the one with the red bow <laughs> this is a beautiful vanillic powdery slightly fruity fragrance if you guys haven't noticed the pattern and this time i love like fruity fragrances but still has a little bit of warmth from vanilla or some woodiness or something like that because the springtime is a nice transitional season for me and once it gets too hot i want more of like bright you know happy scents but going into you know summer on the more gloomy days i like to wear something warm and inviting but still fruity still uplifting in a sense and this is a fragrance that is very comforting with those rainy spring days and i think that this is a very beautiful year-round scent overall but it really does something to me in like the winter and the springtime like that transitional period chef's kiss this has notes of raspberry heliotrope some orange blossom it also has some sandalwood and some vanilla but it also has some iris as well which kind of gives it that powderiness that i really like and I'm not much of a powdery fan, but the powdery in this fragrance I can do. It has more of like a, 
I don't want to say gourmand touch because it's not gourmand but it's more of like a sweet warm comforting scent but the raspberry kind of gives it a little bit of juiciness the heliotrope kind of gives it like a doughy quality which is absolutely beautiful and yeah I really really love this scent overall this also has benzoin in the base but with this fragrance, I don't get that medicinal benzoin vibe from this. I just think that the benzoin adds a little bit more depth and a little bit more warmth to the fragrance in the dry down, which is actually my favorite part. But I love the whole experience of this fragrance. It changes over time, and I think that this will be a great addition if you want something that's comforting, cozy, something you can wear all year. And this is sort of like the original La Via Belle, but it has a little bit of a twist, and it's not as heavy with the patchouli. It does have patchouli, but it's not as heavy as the original. So this is Lancome's La Via Belle Intense Men. Okay, so I'm going to just do it right here because I was going to move, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm not even going to do it. So I'm going to show you guys like my upper body sitting, and then I'll show you guys how I spray the rest of my body standing. I am wearing a dress, and I tried to like wear something that you guys can see, at least one leg. So we're going to see how this works. But before I apply fragrances for the nighttime, like going out i shower i moisturize and all that good stuff if you guys want to see like a body care routine or like a shower routine i can definitely get that out to you guys because i believe that your shower routine is essential in how long your fragrances last and also how you spray so i take a shower i moisturize i do all that stuff you know do my skincare all that good stuff and then once i have my undergarments on i go ahead and i do my first little sprays because i do spray my body and i spray my clothes every single time i wear fragrances unless it's like a very strong fragrance like something with oud in it then i don't go hard like that but Typically, I'm showing y'all like my regular spray routine. I typically just spray my body and then I spray my clothes afterwards. So I'm not going to show you guys me and my undergarments because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to use Passessoir. This one I actually over over spray, but I'm just going to show you guys what I typically do. I do spray this one more than what I'm going to show y'all, but I'm just showing y'all my typical routine, which is I spray my neck and my decollete. So I go side, middle middle side of the neck back of the neck and then i go to three different points of my arm and then i do the back side so i do my shoulder then i do the inner crease of my arm and then i do my wrist and then i just do the back side of where i sprayed so my wrist my outer elbow and my deltoid and then i just do the same on the other side so i'm, I'm trying to do it to where y'all can see All right, so this is the fun part. So I'm gonna stand. I do get in here, okay, and do my chest. Now, when I don't have clothes on, I like to spray the center of my belly. Oh, child, how are we gonna do this? Okay, now to the leg. <laughs> All right, so I do one side, the other side of the crease, I do the front of my knee. So I do my ankles, okay? So left side, right side, middle. Boom, all right. So we have inner, outer, knee, inner, or well, outer, inner, knee. So that's what I do when I'm just in my undergarments. Then once I put on my clothes, depending on what I'm wearing, then I will either, you know, spray a coat or whatever. But today, since I'm just wearing a dress, I'm just going to show you guys what I would do if I'm just wearing this outfit. And that's um spray my top so one two three then i go four five six so thigh thigh and that's it that's what i do that's on a normal day now with this fragrance i do do one last ch -ch 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 all over like i don't count i just go down my clothes down my body because like i said this fragrance does not <laughs> doesn't really last that long on my skin also if I'm testing out a fragrance I'll spray the back of my hands as well as my whole body so that I can just like smell different points because 
on my skin i don't know if this is the same with you guys but on my skin different points of my body smells differently so like the way that the fragrance develops smells differently on different points of my body so like a fragrance can smell completely different on my wrist than it does my inner elbow versus the back of my hand versus you know my chest area so it just depends and that's why I like to spray in the areas that I spray because they are pulse points but also I can just smell what the fragrance smells like in different areas of my body that is my routine so I hope you all enjoyed today's video I loved making this video shout out again to my girl Takara for making this tag I had so much fun doing it. I think being more like physical and like interactive with these videos are just so fun. So I think I'm gonna start doing that some more. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Leave me the purple heart emoji because I got these grapes on my dress. Okay. I love you all so so much, and I will see you all in the next one.